To start off, we're going to draw a really big circle on the middle of your page. This is going to be the moon. Then with your darkest blue, uh, in my case, I used Anthraquinone Blue by M. Graham. We are going to paint the outside of the circle. Try to make this color as saturated as possible. You may have to go over it with another layer to make it pretty dark. As I've said in previous videos, keep the edges of your background wet so that you don't have any hard lines. As you can see here, I switched to a bigger brush so that I can get more coverage faster. Once you have the background as dark as you'd like it, again, you can use several layers to achieve that darkness. I'm going to go back to my smaller brush and just wet it and add some drops of water to the still wet background. This is going to cause a little bit of separation in the background and it's going to make it look as if there are specks of snow once the paper dries. Add as much water as you wish and then let it completely dry before moving on to the next step. Now we are going to fully saturate the inside of the moon with plain water. My water is tinted blue because my water is dirty. So that should not be a problem at all um, if your water is tinted because we're going to be going over this with some paint. For the inside of the moon, I'm going to be using some Moon Glow by Daniel Smith. And in order to achieve a more moon-like feel, I am going to go around the edges with a deeper saturation and then just tap in some paint in the middle.
in order for this to be a little bit more moonlight, I am adding in a much higher saturation of color around the edges so that it's not so stark white. And you'll also see that I am tapping in a lot of color in certain areas. Continue to tap in the color as much as you'd want in order to achieve the depth of the moon that you'd like. Now, Moon Glow by Daniel Smith is a separating color, so there's not much that I need to do in order to uh, give this a sense of having depth and dimension to the moon. Once you're satisfied with that first initial phase, um, we're gonna take our white and add some lightness to parts of the moon. And I'm only going to do this along the top of the moon in order just to give it a little bit more lightness and a little bit more character. Once I am done adding the white, I'm going to go back in with a deeper saturation of the moon glow to give it a little bit more depth around the edges of the white and around the lower part of the moon. To finish the moon off, I'm going to add a couple of streaks along the bottom of the moon and I'm using a very thin size 2 brush. Using the very tip of it, I am going to do some curved lines starting from a center point and out into the moon itself. To that center point, I'm going to add a touch of moon glow and then follow that up with another touch of white. Finally, I'm going to tap in some moon glow into the moon with a small round number two brush. And I am following that up by splattering some white in the moon and all over the sky as well. Before we get to the next part, I want to really apologize because the first part of my footage somehow got corrupted. So I wasn't able to show how I painted the Santa or the first two reindeer. Now that first reindeer, I don't know what happens with it. It is awful. It's, it's little feet, legs are too thick. And I think I just had way too much paint on my paintbrush when I did that first reindeer. But the next ones come out okay and you'll see how I do 
the third one here. However, all I did was Google an image of uh, Santa and his sleigh, a silhouette of it. So I Googled Santa sleigh silhouette and I basically copied the silhouette that I saw um, onto the paper. Um, and I just took it in parts. So as you can see here, I started with the tail, worked my way down, and um, just did a very rough silhouette of the reindeer and the sleigh. So again, I am really, really sorry that my footage got corrupted. I really tried to recover it, but it was to no avail. I could not recover that footage. So again, just Google a uh, silhouette and you will be able to kind of follow it visually, which is what I usually do when I am painting silhouettes. Keep it very rough and um, as long as it has that illusion of, of, you know, having reindeer and sleigh being, and, and Santa being pulled in his sleigh, you should be okay. As a side note, for the silhouette, I'm using a mix of Anthranquinone Blue and Payne's Gray, both by M. Graham. Once that part is done, I'm going to allow this to fully dry and then I'm going to take off the tape. By this point, my tape is lifting off, off around the edges and once I go in to add some details, the sparkles under the reindeer and Santa, I no longer need to have my paper taped to the board. So if you have that, feel free to remove it. Um, I'm going to take my white gel pen and I am just going to scatter a ton of little dots, so I'm just dotting it onto the paper underneath the reindeer. Make them tight and compact and um, just keep them underneath the reindeer and underneath Santa. And you'll also see that with my gel pen, I'm making like a swirly pattern along the bottom of the moon. So just continue doing that until it's bright enough for you to see it. And in order, again, in order to achieve that, make the dots compact, so make them really close together. That way it will definitely stand out against the splatter in the skies. Once I'm satisfied with the way that the swirl of sparkles look, I'm gonna go in and add a few stars. So I'm going to do this the way I usually do my stars with just one exception. Instead of doing a little triangle in the middle and then doing the cross coming off of the corners, what I'm going to do is just do a little dot and then do a cross in each dot. Since these little stars are small, um, the detail is not going to matter as much as if you were doing a pretty big star. So I'm just going to scatter these on the inside of my swirls. Finally, I'm going to fill in any gaps that I see, stand back a little. I usually like to stand up and take a look at my piece before I finish it and see if there are any gaps, anything that needs to be filled in, if I need to add in a few stars um, and, you know, just do that in, just do that at the end. 
And with that, this piece is done. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I am really sorry that I was unable to save the footage of the Santa sleigh and the first two reindeer. <laughs>